Today's video is kind of an accident. I planned to have a get ready with me and talk about some things, but I had so many interruptions and the dogs barking and things like that, that I basically just spliced this all up and discovered that my eye look, which I was basically choosing at random today, turned out to be a very beautiful fall combination. I thought, wow, this is a great look for fall. As you can see, I started out with the e.l.f. no budge eyeshadow in the color crayon. Where I'm from, we say crayon. In some areas in the country, it's crown, but it's the color crayon and it's beautiful. I love this sort of a peachy salmon color. Absolutely beautiful. The formula though is very stiff. So I dipped my brush in, I picked up quite a bit of color and I just packed it on there. I did a lot of pressing it in and tapping it in. It's a little bit too stiff to swirl it around or brush it back and forth. But in spite of that, it's a wonderful product and it's only $5. As you can see, I'm just chatting away there, planning on having this wonderful chatty video today, but nope. <laughs> I'm just glad I was able to salvage it. Okay, now I'm going in for the crease color. This comes from the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Essentials Palette. This is Intrigue. And I started out with a skinny brush. I'm telling you, brushes really matter. This brush just wasn't cutting it. And I don't think it was the brush. I think that putting product on top of this super stiff eyeshadow base made it to where it was it, it wasn't gonna move, it just wasn't moving. So I had to get more of a fluffy brush and move it around that way. And putting this together, I'm, I'm looking at this combination of like a, the orangey salmon peachy with the purple, and I cannot believe how pretty this is. Kinda gets me excited for fall, although I live in Florida, so we don't have the regular fall here, but still. Okay, choosing a color for my brow bone. Now this is Wonder from the same It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. I kind of wish that I had chosen a little slightly darker hue for under my brow bone. Like I said, this wasn't planned, but I think next time I'll choose maybe the more taupey color. Of course, I had to pick up some shimmer, so I reached for Lorac and I grabbed this shade Everglow. It is so, so pretty. It's got a lot of payout. This is a higher end eyeshadow palette. It's the travel size, so it was only like $14. I am a little disappointed though. As easy as it is to apply, and as creamy and lovely as the payout is, there's quite a bit of fallout. I had to clean up sparkle off my face, so kind of disappointed in that. Otherwise, it's, it's a lovely palette. I'm just gonna quickly pop on my mascara here. This is Benefit's Bad Girl Bang. Not my favorite mascara. I don't know if the tube has dried out quickly or what. This is a trial size, so I've never used it before, but I found that it kind of clumps and gets um, spidery and spiky. I hate to give it sort of a bad review. I may have gotten a tube that maybe it was a little dry or I haven't used it enough, maybe it dried out on me, I'm not sure, so I'd be willing to get another trial size and see if it's better. Just love the look though. Okay, we're gonna go in with liner now, and this is the color Allure. Still using my It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Essentials palette. I don't remember what brushes I was using for my eyeshadow today. I'll have a look and see if I can list them. So just going in here and doing a little bit of cleanup for the final look. Oh, I love it. So pretty, I love that. I'm gonna do this again, definitely. Oh my gosh, I love that. So what do you guys think?
Not sure what I was saying here, but clearly cracking myself up about something. Thanks for watching.